So just what is making a big splash this year at American theme parks? <laughs> Everything from digging for dinosaurs. Superlative, splendid, inspirational. To a place where bugs and Daffy turn on the charm. A demanding public is always in the market for a new adventure. The same reason that car manufacturers change their cars every year. Um, you've got to keep people coming back. You've got to give them something new. You know, you can't go wrong with a new water ride or a new roller coaster or a good show package. Those are the staples, but you've got to keep changing it to keep the people coming back. Here's a change that even defies gravity. The Master Blaster near San Antonio, Texas is a combination roller coaster and water slide. The first thing you notice is the acceleration, the sensation. It's just like that thing hits you and it just picks you up and you go, whoa, you know, just like you feel this thing which is unknown. You haven't, you haven't felt that experience before. Many parks are now owned by huge communications conglomerates. That helps them weave together attractions that appeal to everyone, from grandma to grandpa to thrill-seeking teens and baby boomers with kids. Time Warner's influence at the Six Flags parks includes some of Warner Brothers' most famous critters. Bugs Bunny World has been totally rethemed for the smaller guests. As you look around, you'll see most of the rides and the shows are tailored towards kids 10 and under. Um, more for families to do this year. For parents, vacationing with the kids always has its ups and downs. In Las Vegas, some hotel operators realize that adult interests and young people's interests don't always coincide. So they've developed children's programs, so parents are free to go to the casinos. For a $70 fee, MGM provides daily activities, including a supervised trip to a theme park. It's open from 8 a.m. till midnight, and kids can stay up to five hours at a time. Food, a t-shirt, and fun are all included. I like it a lot because of the water rides and the food. Water, water everywhere. Central Florida's wet and wild lets visitors splurge on the surge, 600 feet of splashy twists and turns. What could be a more perfect combination than something educational that's also fascinating? At SeaWorld in Orlando, the Monster Marsh recreates a dinosaur habitat. Children dig in the sand to uncover replicas of ancient bones and eggs. Endangered living creatures, like the manatee, offer an important message. Once you get that awareness and that appreciation for these animals, then it's much easier to help save them should they become endangered. Another famous sea creature triggers a slightly more dramatic response. At Universal Studios, the new guy in town is a three-ton, 32-foot-long shark. Talk about adding a jolt to a peaceful outing on Amity Island. If your nerves haven't gotten enough of a workout, how about a free fall from the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror? 13 floors of fright are now on site at Walt Disney World. Part of what's new for a summer of fun. For CNN Travel Guide, I'm Chuck Roberts. This is Walt Disney World's tallest attraction. It's their brand new Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. If you're planning a theme park vacation, here's the latest information, trends, tips, prices, in today's Traveler's Notebook. The big screen is a big favorite with theme parks in North America. New at Paramount's Carowinds in Charlotte, North Carolina, an area for those who love the movie Wayne's World. Wayne and Garth wannabes can party on dude at Wayne's Restaurant, then lose their lunch on The Hurler, an eight-story roller coaster. Schwing! Daily admission to the entire park is $24.95 for adults and $13.50 for senior citizens and children. Universal Studios in Florida is banking on this summer's blockbuster, The Flintstones, to bring in the crowds. Visitors can hang out with the prehistoric family on the main street of Bedrock. Daily park admission is $36 for adults, $12.95 for senior citizens, and $13.95 for children ages 4 through 12. And finally, Las Vegas, Nevada is betting on MGM Grand Adventures to change this gambling mecca into a fun-for-the-whole-family destination. Kids and parents can enter to the Grand Canyon Rapids, wander through a haunted mine, or explore space on a thrilling indoor roller coaster. 
An adult ticket is $18.95, senior citizens $6 less, and for children ages 4 to 12, $13.95. This is the World Showcase at Epcot 94. 11 different pavilions representing 11 different cultures, from Middle Eastern to Far Eastern to Colonial American. Coming up, we'll give you some tips on how to beat the heat and the crowds at theme parks this summer. Stay with us.